WWRL New York. Relive the magic with 100% pure soul. Now the music you love is in stereo on 1600 WWRL. And it just feels right. The magic of 100% pure soul, 1600 WWRL. 12 minutes past 8 o'clock, 812 is the time, 55 degrees on the outside, but we're cooking on the inside. A strong song from then and now, it was so nice. We had to serve it up twice. That was a little rush freeming with um, uh, Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah, it sounded real good, you woo, woo, woo. Here's the original version of it, The Spinners. I'll be around. Did you say Bob Law should be leaving the house about now? Yeah, come on, let's get a move on, Bob Law. the magic of 100% pure soul, 1600 WWRL. That's uh, Chic and La Freak as we freak out just a little bit on this a, um, this Wednesday morning as we do breakfast at Mary Wilson's and we're usually in a hotel room when we're not in her Manhattan apartment, but right now we're in a hospital room, just a little different than the way we... You know what? You never know what to expect with you. You have uh, added so much sparkle and spice into my life, Eva. It's truly, it's truly well, a darling, joy. Yes, darling, we're in here, and I tell you, it's amazing. And you know how they uh, they changed things since I was in there. Uh -huh. in, in the 70s, uh -huh. I had my children. Uh -huh. uh, darling, they let you out the day after you have the baby. Yeah, they don't let you linger. Mm, and uh -huh. the only reason that my daughter is here is because she had a couple of... Uh, Maybe a little slight infection, so they want okay. to keep her a day. Yeah. But other than that, the day after, darling, they clean up, and you are and you gone. Are back up your grip and let's <laughs> split. Uh, well, I, but you know what? The thing is, it, it puts it back in mind of when um, women would be in the fields, and they'd have their babies and then continue Go to right pick to cotton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... It's a natural thing. Mm -hmm. There are some complications that arise, and when those do, you, you're glad that you have someone there who can help you through them. Yeah. But other than that, they say it's it's a natural thing. Yeah, well, one thing, it, she went through natural birth, uh, uh, and also, there's so much about health care around mm -hmm. today, and I was so proud of my daughter because she found everything that she could, because it is very expensive to have a baby these days. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, people should think twice about having a lot of them, but uh, <laughs> through a lot of uh, the, the various um, insurances and things like that, my daughter and her husband were able to save about $20,000. You yeah. saved $20,000? saved twenty five. You know, he got uh, his insurance from the new job that mm -hmm. he's on, mm -hmm. and she found various other uh, insurances and situations that she got into that was half off for the child care. Mm -hmm and half off for the pediatrician and half off for this and that. And so, yeah, wow. they saved a lot of money. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. so and I mean, a lot of money can be spent that, in it. That, that's right. So what happens if you can't pay the bill? You have to leave the baby at the hospital? <laughs> I, I, no, I, I think there'll be a lot said if that happens. Oh, okay. okay. I think I have to say a lot. <laughs> why, well, I wasn't meaning you, because yeah. I know, you, but I'm just saying, if someone can't, do they have to leave the baby at the hospital? No, I'm, I'm sure they'll work it the, out. A dollar down, a dollar a day, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. 821 is the time. Now, Mary, we're going to play uh, the Pepsi it's Pop Culture. It's 521 here in Las Vegas. A three-hour <laughs> difference there. I feel for you. I really do. But I, you know what? You're such a, a, a trooper and such a consummate professional that you're going to get up even under the circumstances and oh, have let us have breakfast at your place. Isn't that nice for you to give me that compliment on the air? I just love it. Well, you know, it's not it's not like I don't say it, you know, off the air either. You know, I'm one of your <laughs> biggest fans uh, and admirers as a, as a performer and as a person. Ooh, child. Yeah. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> Ooh, child. <laughs> Ooh, child. You know what? Bob Law played that yesterday Ooh, in midday, midday Magic, and oh, he really? got up and tried to dance a little bit. Uh-oh, not Bob. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Eight, 822 is the time. we got to check in with Eric and take a look at the traffic. This traffic report is being brought to you by Western Union's Ready Money Transfer. Eric, what is the traffic looking like for this Wednesday morning, the first day back to school for the morning. little kitties? Yeah, a lot of cars, a lot of traffic. Definitely, okay. definitely heavy out there. We're going to go up to Westchester, northbound on the New England Thruway. All lanes are subject to closure at exit 19.
19. That's Rye Playland because of a car fire. And over in New Jersey, northbound western spur of the New Jersey Turnpike, we got a two-car crash approaching the Vince Lombardi. And here in Queens, westbound LIE is just solid from the Clearview Expressway all the way out to Queens Boulevard. And on the service road of Queens Boulevard, we got a two-car crash. And then eastbound on the expressway at Utopia Parkway, we got another two-car hit in the process of being picked up. And up in the Bronx, they're not escaping all the cars either. Southbound Bronx River Parkway, we've got a three-car crash at Tremont Avenue. And you got to slow down out there. It is the first day of school, so watch out for those buses and the kids, of course. And as far as the subways go, we still got a little bit of a snag on the southbound A and C trains. They are terminating at Euclid Avenue in Brooklyn because of ongoing switching problems. Be seated and be moved as Billy Graham delivers the good news of Christ into your living room. That's tomorrow night's TV special on UPN Channel 9 at 8 p.m. I'm Eric Rathbury, living the magic on 1600 WWRL. Thank you so much, Eric. To find the Western Union location nearest you, please call 1-800-325-6000. Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Now, when we come back, we're going to play the Pepsi Pop Culture Trivia Quiz. You want to play along? Well, you can win a Pepsi Pop Culture gift pack. Just keep listening. We'll be back in a moment. Be sure to tune in to the All Star Morning Show, hosted by Crystal Holmes, for your chance to win a Pepsi Pop Culture gift pack, which includes a Pepsi t-shirt, an official Pepsi Pop Culture game board, along with some RL goodies. Correctly answer the Pepsi Pop Culture trivia question, and you'll be a winner. Play Pepsi Pop Culture this summer. You can win some of the 2.5 million prizes available. Look for game pieces under the bottle cap, inside can cartons, and on fountain cups. Match words to phrases or win instantly. Drink Pepsi, match, and win. When you want to make the moment last forever Get the most out of the time you have together Keep your cool longer with dirt It's an instant hit, a rush of movement, a freshness that lasts so long Way after the mint is gone Sirs, a sparkling drop of resin gives you fresh breath that last Keep your cool longer, keep your cool longer And grown aroma everywhere. You've made folders for me. And it says, Wake up, sleepy. We sip our folders and we tell what's on today. Hope it goes well. Waking up here with you. education you need. Learn from the Masters, the Christian Bible Institute and Seminary. The program offers a quality Christian education. Fully accredited, the Christian Bible Institute has degree programs in religious education, theology, philosophy, and much more. You can study holistic health, metaphysics, evangelism, ministry, even computer technology. Call 973-748-0090. Transfer credits from other degree programs or receive credit for relevant life experiences. Ordination and ministerial sovereign licenses are also available. The Christian Bible Institute is the only fully accredited Bible school of its kind on the East Coast. A staff of professionals dedicated to your professional and spiritual development. State-of-the-art facilities, even child care services while you learn. Conveniently located in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Call the Christian Bible Institute today for more information on how to embark on a brighter future for you. Call 973-748-0090. That's 973-748-0090. Mention WWRL and receive a special discount. Reliving the magic with 100% pure soul, we're 1600 WWRL. And it's time to play the Pepsi Pop Culture uh, Trivia Quiz. And we're going to, uh, we've done something a little different the way that we're handling things. And what we're doing is doing a Dateline thing, okay? I need you to, uh, here, wait a minute. What are you pressing? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, Mary's there. Mary wants to play the Pepsi Pop Culture Quiz. You want to play this with us, Mary? Well, I was wondering if I would be invited. You know what? You don't need an invitation. This is well, your thank place. Well, you very much. I'll <laughs> switch that button on so I can be a part. Yeah, see, I'm not there. I'm a long way. You're a lo I, yeah, I know when you don't switch that button on. You do know. Well, it was, it was not because I didn't want you to be involved. I was that's trying true, to do something a little different here. Okay? Right, let's, let's I was trying to be, game. okay, in, inventive, okay? Mm -hmm. And what we do is this Dateline thing for Pepsi Pop Culture Trivia Game, and it's really simple. I'll give you some events and happenings from a certain year, and you give me the, the year 
and uh, and this is the year in which all of these things took place. You now, you're it. talking to you, the, the public, right? Yeah, well, you, you can't win the prizes, Mary. I'm I know, like, well, that's know? what I'm saying. Well, I'm making it clear. Okay. You're not talking to me. You're talking to them. I'm talking to them. I'm talking to our <laughs> RL listeners. Okay, in the theaters, we had um, Titsy, starring Dustin Hoffman. E.T. the Extraterrestrial was happening. An Officer and a Gentleman starring Louis Gossett Jr. and uh, what's that? Richard Gere. On TV we had Hill Street Blues, um, Taxi with Judd Hirsch, um, The Thornbirds. I like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. On the radio we heard this. It was a dad band, wasn't it? No, it was the Daz band. A little let it whip. You remember this? Yeah, that was on the radio. We also heard Jennifer Holiday, and I'm telling you, I'm not going. And that was from Dream Girls. Dream Girls, yes. Place. And we also got a little bit of this. No, that's not what we got. No, no, this is what we got. Wait a minute, let's do this again. See, we can't do that. We can't complete this without doing that. Okay, come on, cue it up. Yeah, got a little bit of that. Yeah, it was the best R&B vocal performance by a male. That's one of your favorite guys, Marvin Gaye. Uh, so what year did all of this take place? Was it 1978, 1984, or 1982? I know they all know the answers. So they they know it, the answers? Oh, they got to. I know it. So now, <coughs> is it the 16th caller? Or how you well, we'll ta actually take the first the caller. You can one? give me okay. the correct answer. I know they know that one. 735-WWRL. If you can tell me what year that all of these things took place. Now, while they're figuring that out, we'll do this. Little Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. You're going to hang around for the answer, right? Right, Mary? Oh, yes, I am, darling. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're living the magic with 100% pure soul, 1600 WWRL. 8.33 is the time as we are doing Breakfast at Mary's Place. A little Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody who loves me. And uh, we're in Nevada via telephone in uh, Mary Wilson's uh, daughter's hospital room as we're celebrating the birth of Mia Maria. Marie. Mia Marie. I don't know. Mia Marie. Mia Maria just yes, sounds yes. like it should work. But Mia That's Marie, I'm like, it's a beautiful name. Did you think of that? No, my daughter did. Oh, well, good. Yeah, she did a lot of research on it. Yeah? Does it, does it have any significance, any special meaning? No. But, it's just uh, something she what? liked. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's Italian, too. I don't know. It's Italian. Okay, so she's mm -hmm. African-American, mm -hmm. uh, Croatian, Dominican, Puerto Rican, with an Italian name. All right. Yeah, well, we're going to have to help her out because she's going to she's gonna be asking, answering and, a lot of questions. And I, and I know, it's, it's, uh, are we going to hear the news? Because I, I think she's about to cry. So. Oh, okay, so you want to, we'll go to the news, you take care of her, and then we'll come back to the Pepsi yeah. Pop Culture. And then we'll okay. find out who the, win the winner is. Okay, right? we'll do that. Okay. JJ, you hear that now. The, the baby is yeah. dictating that. It's time for you to do the news. That's right. Okay. Okay. Well, the news at this hour, of course, is... Uh, with Police Commissioner Howard Safer describing Milton Youth March creator Khalid Muhammad as the man who is like a black Hitler. This, of course, after the speech given on Saturday at the Million Youth March in Harlem. Safer says Muhammad should be arrested for inciting a riot. One of Muhammad's aides, James Washington, was arrested last night and will face assault charges for allegedly throwing an object at a police officer as the controversial rally wound down last Saturday. 500 members of the Army and Air National Guard are helping with the cleanup of devastated central New York. Some prison inmates, 118 of them from two state prisons, will join in over a dozen corrections officers in the cleanup effort. Thousands of homes are still without power across the states. Lots of tree limbs are still down covering roads. The National Black Baptist Convention USA is giving convention president Henry Lyons another chance. This after Lyons admitted to having an improper relationship with convention board uh, leader Brenda Harris between 1994 and 1997 and asked for the board's forgiveness. Lyons and Harris, meanwhile, faced numerous state and federal charges in Florida, including racketeering and bank fraud. In sports, Cardinal slugger Mark McGuire has finally managed to pass Roger Maris's seasonal home run record. McGuire hit the magic number 62 last night. There wasn't a scramble over the ball since the home run fell into an isolated area. A stadium worker calmly collected the ball and reportedly gave it back to McGuire for free. This report is brought to you by Sam Goody. 
playing with the Fugees, Lauren Hill, no success. Now she's going after it on her solo debut. It's the miseducation of Lauren Hill on Columbia, and Sam Goody's got it. The WWRL weather forecast, cooler and windy today with autumn-like weather. A shower is possible this afternoon. Lots of sunshine all day long as well. High today should be near 70 degrees. Currently, it's 55 degrees, sunny skies. I'm J.J.R. Remy, WWRL News. <laughs> Reliving a magic of 100% pure soul. We're 1600 WWRL. Mary, you know what? I wish you were here because the producer formerly known as Susie, otherwise known as Sherry, is giving me a hard time. And she doesn't do that when you're here. I see. Yeah, so anyway. I'm not turning your microphone on. So don't even come up there. She's got headsets on and everything. Like, I'm going to turn it on so she can hear. We're playing the Pepsi Pop Culture Trivia okay. Game. Now listen, I'll tell you what. what? Our, our, our listeners should really know who this is because, because with uh, which year? Because of uh, Marvin Gaye. Okay. Oh, so now you're giving them hints. Yes, you know. Now well, you've got to give them a few hints. Okay. Well, we, if we, Alf, look, if Alf is still walking around and people <laughs> know about it, they should know what year that uh, Marvin Gaye made this record. So come on. Well, you know what? The, the fact of the matter is, we've given them a lot of hints. So which line am I going to? Okay. All right. I hope I. I truly hope that I don't do this incorrectly and, and disconnect you, Mary, because you know. There it is. I'm All here. right. Good morning. Welcome to the All Star Morning Show. Yeah, good morning, Miss Miss Holmes. How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. And good morning, Miss Wilson. Thank you. Good morning. Who is this? Uh, my name is Travis Mayu. Travis? Yes. Okay, so we're going to play the pop, Pepsi Pop Culture Trivia Game, and it's really simple. We'll run down the things that happened in this particular year, and I need for you to tell me what year it was. Okay. Okay? In the theaters, we were watching Tootsie with Dustin Hoffman. E.T. the extraterrestrial was phoning home, and an officer and a gentleman was entertaining us with Louis Gossett Jr. and Richard Gere. On TV, we were watching Hill Street Blues, Taxi with Judge, Judd Hirsch, and uh, the Thornbirds. On the radio, we let it whip with the Daz Band, and I'm telling you, I'm not going, Jennifer Holliday. We also had a sexual healing by Marvin Gaye, which is the best R&B vocal performance by a male. What year did these things take place? Was it 1978, 1984, or 1982? Uh, 1982. All right, you got it. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So you picked up a Pepsi Pop Culture gift pack, which includes a Pepsi T-shirt and Pepsi Pop Culture game board, plus an RL cap, keychain, and magnet.